G'day, I'm Alistair Christie and this is a video blog for LearnDelphi.tv That's um, my number 6 or 7 or something, I'll, I'll work it out later um, So a, 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 a list of things that I, I want to mention um, The first being uh, Delphi Books um, We've uh, lately two, there have been two new publications of, um, uh, of, of books uh, The first um, being uh, Delphi XE2 Foundations um, by Chris Rolleston. Um, it's currently available for the uh, Kindle, um, so it's a um, you know has a DRM and all that kind of thing. Um, it's in three parts. Um, each part I think is about ten dollars US, so it's pretty good value. I think it's. Uh, I've only just started reading it. Uh, I haven't got very far as yet, and I'll provide a uh, more of a review um, when I've uh, gotten through it. Um, so. Uh, you can uh, look forward to that in the near future. Um, in addition to that, there is um, uh, Delphi Parallel Programming with the OmniThread Library by Primoz Gabrielczyk. I've just murdered that name. I, I apologize. Um, but um, uh, I've, I've had an eye on the OmniThread Library for a while. I, uh, I, um, kind of read through the blog posts or skim through them uh, thinking oh, this is something that I really should uh, take some time to learn um, so hopefully um, uh, buying the ebook will mean that um, I will take some time to learn it um, I, I think these, these two books being published um, even though they're um, sort of self-published self ebooks uh, is, is, is highly um, positive for the um, uh, Delphi community at large um, the uh, Delphi Foundations is going to have a, a physical book as well, which I'll probably buy because I like having uh, dead trees on my um, shelf. Um, but um, certainly, uh, uh, ebooks are really uh, convenient, and and of course the, the Kindle software is available on pretty much everything. So I've, I have it on my phone and iPad and, and what have you. Um, so uh, next next topic, uh, SSDs. I've I've been having trouble with them. Um, and um, the, the first SSD I got was a, a, a Vertex 2. It, it, it died. Uh, um, uh, the company I bought it off went out of business. Sometimes it's not uh, the best idea to buy from the cheapest supplier. Um, and I, I, after uh, quite a while, I managed to track down, um, well, um, got in touch with PB Tech, which is a, a New Zealand company. Um, I'm, I'm obviously based in New Zealand. Um, and they, they did manage to do a warranty replacement for me, for, for me which is really good. Um, they replaced it with a Octane 2. And I've been having some troubles with that. Um, so after, uh, it was fine for the first couple of months, and then our uh, computer started freezing. And I, I think it's just really long pauses, actually. Because um, uh, I've worked it out because I've, I've bought three other of these Octane uh, <laughs> drives. And put them in other machines, and they've been uh, starting to have difficulty. They, they worked fine initially. Um, I have, um, I think, upgrading them to the latest firmware uh, might solve uh, that issue. I hope. But it's uh, in theory a destructive update, so it means backing up the hard drive um, and, and, and re you're doing a backup and restore and all that kind of stuff, which is kind of a monumental uh, uh, a bit of effort at times. So I've, I've somewhat been putting that off. Um, so that, that's my SSD troubles. Um, you, and, and you may, if you've uh, uh, purchased my part two, you'll notice that my Windows theme changes part way through. Um, that was when I had to reinstall Windows after the uh, SSD died, and I had to go back to a physical hard drive. And um, it's uh, surprising how quickly um, you get used to um, uh, the, the the speed of SSDs. Um, That's the, so much nicer than than physical disks. Um, so if you don't have an SSD, I'd, I'd recommend getting one, although um, possibly not an Octane. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Any, anyhow, so moving on. Um, so uh, I've, I've been working on part three. Um, actually, been a bit distracted lately um, with SSD troubles, and I've also um, revamped my landing page, uh, trying to increase my, uh, sorry, decrease the bounce rate um, on that. Um, so I've, I have uh, a landing page for Google and um, uh, DelphiBasics.co.uk, which I haven't had on at the moment, which 
um, I, I probably need to renew in the near future. So, um, but, but anyhow, um, so I'm partway through uh, part, way, um, part three of um, the uh, building applications in Delphi using the Visual Component Library. Um, so that, that's quite good, uh, two and a half hours into it. I, I try to make them about six hours long. Um, and uh, I had been procrastinating about covering list view and tree view, and uh, I now I now know why. Um, being two and a half hours into this this video, I have only covered two components. I haven't finished covering tree view yet, as yet. Uh, they are very large components with lots of properties um, and sub properties, and uh, you know, the, the list view and uh, list item, and um, you can put them in groups and all that kind of stuff. Um, they're not a complete exhaustive coverage of these components. Um, I didn't, didn't do work areas, which I've never seen working. I don't think I've ever seen an application uh, take advantage of, of work areas using uh, a list view, but um, it's, it's, it, there must be. I, I don't even know if it works properly in Delphi. I've had a bit of a play, wrote, wrote some test apps, but um, yeah, I did ask on Stack Overflow. But um, it's, 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 uh, if I work it out, I'll, I'll do a video on it. So uh, hopefully, um, I'll, I'll, I'll pull finger and uh, get part three finished uh, um, soon. Uh, I've, yeah, I've been quite busy lately, um, but um, I'll yeah, hoping to make more progress on it uh, soon. So um, my final point, that um, the note that I've made is um, I've been accepted into the community evangelist program. Um, the Embarcadero uh, have have just recently. Um, made available. Uh, I don't know what that entails as yet. Uh, I'll probably find out over time. I'll, I'll keep you informed. Um, so that that's quite interesting and um, I'm, I'm, I'm very young. I'm quite passionate about Delphi and um, and, and more than happy to um, evangelize it uh, to the community. So <clears throat> um, so that should be interesting. Uh, I'll hopefully also become a um, Embargadero partner. Um, in the near future as well, and to get the application sorted out. I, I thought I emailed it through, but uh, I might have forgotten to attach the images. But, so I was, I've, uh, yeah, I've been a bit um, scatterbrained lately. But anyhow, so um, those are the, the, the things I wanted to mention. Um, so I'll, I'll finish up there and, and stop ranting. Um, I, I hope you uh, find this post useful. Um, I'll um, be making more in the future. I'm Alistair Christie. Uh, see you later.